Dear students, in this module, we're going to look at the in silico fragment comparison and scoring. When you do MS2, then you measure the peptide masses. However, these peptide masses can be from any protein that you don't know at this moment. So, in order to identify which protein they come from or which peptide they come from, there is a way to compare them with the in silico fragmentation from the proteins or peptides in the databases. For that, you generate in silico fragments of each protein or peptide in the database and compare this set of spectrum spectra with the spectra from the experiment. So, in order for them to be compared, you need to count the matches and score them. So, in this module, we're going to discuss how to score. Let's see. So, first of all, you have to count the matches between the in silico and the in vitro uh, peaks. Let me draw some in silico peaks. So, these are the fragments that have been generated by fragmenting a protein in the protein database and arriving at the theoretical mass of the peptides. Now, in blue, I'm going to draw some peaks that have been reported in the experiment. Now, if you simply look at it, you can count 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4 experimental peptides, call them the in vitro peptides, 4 peptides, they match with the in silico peaks. The in silico peaks in all 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, 8 peaks were there and only 4 could match. So, in this way, you can arrive at a score of 0 0.5 or simply a score of 4. So, you have simply scored the in silico and in vitro comparison by counting the number of matching peaks. Let's move next. So, for each protein in the protein database, so here is your protein database. Of course, it contains thousands or hundreds of thousands of proteins. So, at a time you take one protein, you generate its in silico spectrum, you compare how many experimental peaks matched, and you return the score for this protein. In this way, you, you will return a score for all the proteins in the protein database. So, each candidate protein will have a score for itself. Next, we weigh each of these scores with the uh, mass errors. So, as you, you would have noticed that while I was drawing the experimental and the in silico mass comparison, there is this slight error between these comparisons. Of course, it is quite rare that you arrive at an exact match. For instance, this one, which I just drew for you. So, you have to see how far your peak is from the in silico spectrum. You can measure this quality by simply looking at the mass difference that exists between each of these peaks. So, as an example, this peak is closer to the in silico peak as compared to this peak wherein the distance or the mass difference between these two peaks is large. So, you have to measure this mass difference along with the error. Simply put, if you are scoring each peak with 1, then you multiply this by the mass difference. So, in this way, you can measure your mass along with the mass difference. Next, you accumulate the score, that is, you add up the score for each of these spectra wherein mass difference as well as the match 
or mismatch is considered and you score the protein in the database. So in conclusion, with all the possible fragments in the in silico spectrum available to you, you can compare the in vitro spectra with the in silico spectra and arrive at the number of matches. Each match is weighed by the uh, mass error that is there between these two fragments.